I'm Michael Bivey. Using the arts, Pink Ribbons Project works to save lives and improve the quality of life for those touched by breast cancer. Joining us today is the agency's executive director, Lubel Cruz Gaelic. Lubel, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Great to see you, Mike. So I know the Pink Ribbons Project has a very unique history. Talk a little bit about how it got started. Of course, uh, we were founded in 1995 by two sisters, Jane Weiner and Susan Raft. Jane, um, Jane was actually a professional dancer up in New York City when Susan was diagnosed here in Houston at the age of 30. And Jane wanted to do something in honor of Susan, so she founded Pink Ribbons Project in Motion Against Breast Cancer. And using Jane's background as a dancer, arts was a huge component in the organization from the beginning. So you guys have a lot of support from all the major arts uh, companies here in Houston. We do. How does that work? Um, we actually were very excited because um, all of the arts organizations, whether or not it is um, dance or painting, um, they all help us with our mission um, to use the arts for breast cancer awareness and education. And we actually have an event in um, next month um, called Pink at the Brown that we are thrilled about where all the major arts organizations in Houston and come together for one night um, on one stage for one cause, which is Pink Ribbons Project. So uh, I'm talking about this event, Pink at the Brown, this is the third year, correct? correct? Yes. I'm sure it's been growing over the years. Yes. Talk a little bit about, I mean, sure there's performances, I mean, what people can look forward to at this event. Um, I think the Houston audience would be thrilled to attend because this is a very unique e event where the Houston Ballet, Grand Opera, the Houston Symphony, Decamera, Society of Performing Arts, and Alley Theater all donate one to two pieces um, to Pink at the Brown. And um, from what I understand, this is not only um, this is done not only here in Houston but it's never been done throughout the country really? yes yeah, so it's once um, just kind of like a one night event all year and um, the Houston arts audience um, would just love we'd love for them to be there let's talk a little bit about I thought it was unique who uh, some of these people are that you're honoring yes uh, that evening uh, CC Connor Ronald Defino Cora Sue March and the Skurlock Foundation. Yes, well, CC Connor is the retired managing director of the Houston Ballet, and he has done amazing thing, things for the Houston Ballet and the arts community here in Houston, but without him, we couldn't have ever done the first Pink at the Brown, so we're honoring him as our arts um, advocate honoree. And then Don, Dr. Ronald DePino is the new um, director of MD Anderson Cancer Society, um, so we are just very excited to have him um, because he does so much, not only for Houston, but the entire country and the world, really. So let's get back to uh, the mission of Pink Ribbons Project uh, to promote breast health, uh, help those that have been touched by breast cancer. What are some of the ways that you guys are doing that? Sure, um, one of the um, things that we've been funding for many years is the Harris County Hospital District Saturday Mammography Program. And um, we are um, the sole funder for three clinics in Harris County um, that they're open on Saturdays because of the monies we give them and that enables men and women who are unable to take um, off during this work week sure. um, to go get their mammogram on Saturday. So we're very proud of that and have helped um, thousands of men and women through that. But we also just um, opened up um, new funding for a collaboration with the Rose Diagnostic Center and MD Anderson to help um, the Indian Reservation of Alabama Cushada up by Lake Livingston. Gotcha. And we are um, helping them with a screening and awareness day. So um, this is very unique to us and we're thrilled to have um, a new demographic to um, assist. This is up by Lake Livingston. It is. Um, so I would assume that these are people that otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity to, to have mammograms. Exactly. So what is the next step? You go up there, uh, you go through the exams, is there? Yes, um, once they, um, we ha the MD Anderson and the Rose um, will help us with that and then we take um, the diagnostics and the screening um, back to Houston and then we follow up with them later. But the main thing is the awareness they have, that now they know that they should get their annual mammogram right. and sure. really have breast um, wonderful health. That's great. So again, Pink at the Brown coming up next month, May 10th at the Wortham Center. Yes. Uh, people can go to the website, learn more about it, purchase tickets. Yes, go to pinkribbons.org and we would love to See you there. Lou Bell, great talking with you. Thanks Thank for being here. Thank you so here. much, Mike. Absolutely. Find out more about Pink at the Brown at pinkribbons.org. For Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Michael Bybee.